the Beard at Metal Gods TV and with Gus G. How are you doing? Fine. Uh, it's been a while since I got caught up with you. A lot happened since then. Um, obviously with Aussie now. How's that all going? It's great. It's fantastic. Yeah? Yeah. How did, the, how did that all come about? A phone call out of the blue? Uh, yeah. I mean, uh, I got an email last year you know, from uh, from his office, you know. And they asked me uh, if I wanted to go down and uh, an audition. So, uh, you know, I learned a bunch of songs and went to L.A. And uh, I met his band, Matt Ozzy, we jammed. And it went really, really good, you know. And, uh, and then here I am, you know. You must have thought of a, a bit of a wind-up at first, though, surely. Oh, man, I, I was like... <laughs> well, no, to be honest, I, I thought it was... Um, I knew it was some guy from Ausfest. You see, like five years ago when I was at Ausfest with Arch Enemy... Ozzy had made an announcement that he was looking for a guitar player, so I knocked on the door and like I gave him a Firewind CD and said, "Hey, I'm at the second stage with Arch Enemy. If, if you guys are looking for a guitar player, check it out." So I'm sure somebody from the office, uh, you know, they had my my CD and they had checked it out already. So, anyways, well, you know, for for whatever it is, you know, it happened and it's great. And um, you know, I'm 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 very um, I'm very honored yeah. that I'm part of. Um, part of this band yeah well you follow a long line of great guitarists there i mean uh who's, who's the would you say is your favorite aussie guitarist over the years I, I don't i mean i love them all really yeah. I, i'm a big i'm a big fan of all of them you know I, I grew up you know obviously in my in my generation you know zach was the guy that was there and and uh, you know i love his playing but you know i also like randy's records they're brilliant and and uh, the stuff with jake i think is very underrated he's a fantastic player yeah. and um we're actually doing some a lot, you know, a couple of songs from Ultimate Sin on this tour, so it's good to play some of that Jake stuff. You know, it's good. Yeah. yeah. And your next thing is you've sort of got a new album coming out with Firewind. Mm. Um, how's that all going? With sort of with juggling the two jobs now. You know, in the beginning, I thought it was going to be hell, but uh, but it's it's working out pretty nice. You know, because we are we are um, we're planning this out very nicely, and uh, you know, obviously there's uh, some off time from uh, Aussie's World Tour. And, uh, you know, we get to do um, some Firewind gigs. We're going to go to America in November. And um, we're going to do some uh, European dates in December and January. So um, it's coming out very nice, actually. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I know we're getting a lot of uh, emails at our site asking about how Firewind's going to carry on now because you've got doing separate things. Bob and Mark have gone off doing the separate things, doing the side projects, aren't they? Yeah. Is it but still, Firewind's still good? Well, you know, the thing is that I told the guys, you know, I'm going to have a year and a half on the road with Oz, you know, so you, you guys are, you know, you're free to do your own things, you know, when when time is, I'll give you a call and we'll get back together and tour the fucking world, you know, and uh, we already had the, the album in the can that was ready, you know, so uh, so everybody was cool with that, you know, and Apollo, is, you know, he did a project with Spiritual Beggars and Bob is doing his solo albums and all that stuff, so, you know, everybody's keeping busy, you know, it's not like, you know, uh, I'm I'm out and they're sitting at home crying or something. <laughs> you know they're all you know grown people and great musicians and they're finding you know, good stuff to do as well and they're off time. And you know now that uh, we're gonna have some off time, we're gonna um, we're gonna get get together and do some shows. You know we like I said we've confirmed U.S. shows. We're gonna announce uh, European dates as well. And uh, there's a lot of interest to go to other places as well, Australia, Japan. So I'm sure we're gonna get all that stuff in there. So Firewind we're definitely gonna be touring again, yeah. Oh yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Fine stuff. And uh, what would you your guitar endorsement? Have you got a guitar endorsement at the moment? Oh, I have had the same guitars for the past seven years. It's ESP, yeah. ESP guitars, and um, they're the best guitars you know I've ever played. You know, I've stuck with them. They made me great guitars, and uh, which you know, it all started like, like a like a custom shop kind of thing, which evolved into like a signature model, or whatever, and. Uh, I have I've had I have a you know quite a few of my models out there in the market and it's you know I I really enjoy playing the guitars. Yeah. yeah. Now I'm going to talk hair products because I've I've been sponsored my beard's been sponsored by <laughs> Smart Beauty products to for the dye and everything. Congratulations. It's very good, isn't it? Yeah. I was just wondering about your hair. Have you ever thought of getting any hair endorsements? No, not <laughs> not not that important for me. So you know, it's more important to have guitars, amps, strings, and stuff like that instead of uh, hair color or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And um, finally. How are you? It suits you. It's like it, yeah. yeah. Well, it's better than grey and whatever else comes through nowadays. Exactly. You know, yeah, and, and it's better than that anyway, yeah. Well, you don't need an endorsement for that. No. no well, but, but, yeah. some uh, probably car polish or something like yeah. that. <laughs> 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 and um, what would you like to say to the guys out there about Firewind coming up? And have you got, would you like them to come out and see your tours and everything? I would like to actually say that we are coming back to the UK for a one-off exclusive show in London. On January 8th, we're going to be in London playing the garage. So um, 
tickets should be on sale soon. Looking forward to coming back to UK with Firewind. It's been uh, almost a couple of years now. And uh, yeah, I hope everybody checks out Days of Defiance. It's a um, really good record. We're very proud, um, very happy with it. And we'll be coming back and playing songs from that album soon. Great stuff. Yeah. Thanks very much. Thanks, man. Cheers.